It was a surprise addition to Shakur Stevenson's fight calendar. Look what time it is. WBC oh. junior lightweight world titleist Miguel Burchelt tested positive for COVID, had a scratch the fight against Oscar Valdez. Shakur oh. said, I'm ready. Give me the spot. Give me a little TV prime time with the All spotlights. Right. And <laughs> he's over. Let's talk it. Fucking Toka Khan Clary fucking wasted our time. Didn't do shit. Didn't come to fight. Nice guy and everything. But come on, man. You on motherfucking ESPN. Like he was in Tim Bradley was right. He was in survival mode since motherfucking round two. I'm history controversy with fightview360.com. We cover every single major fight live. And don't you know I pay for UFC and I gotta fucking cover that in the morning? Ugh. This has been a very long and grueling day in combat sports, man. Next week is gonna be busy too. So Shakur Stevenson should cruise to a unanimous decision. Winning every single round. Every single round he should win. With no issues. He is looking better and better each fight. I'm starting to wonder, can he touch 147 one day? I think he can do it. I think he can do it. Let's see if that power, power carries out. Remember, former 126-pound champion. Now campaigning at 130. Next, he wants the winner of Frampton. Uh, Herring versus Frampton for WBO 130 uh, title. Then after that, he was the winner of um, Valdez. Um, Burchell versus Valdez for the WBC. Then he wants Tank, he said. And, you know, we'll go from there. But as it stands right now, this was like, all right, it was a stay busy type joint. In fact, Burchell versus Valdez was supposed to be today. So they put this fight together in like short notice. I say, what, about a month, month and a half, two at most, barely. So, you know. <laughs> King Davis is 130 WBA super champion. He is the WBA champion at 130. Jojo Diaz has to fight his mandatory or Tevin Foreman next. We don't know which one he's going to do. He's recently signed with MTK Global. 15 and 0 is Shakur Stevenson. Sports Center is coming up next. The full day in college football was a wild one, and we will hear from Shakur Stevenson when we return to Vegas. Top rank boxing on ESPN. Let me take a jump cut. I am exhausted. I'm, what does it I'm, take to make the world? I'm exhausted. I just want to hear what this man got to say, and I want to go to bed. And he already said who he wants, so there we go. You know, exhausted. Toka Khan clearly didn't do shit. Jump cut. Ricardo. Shakur, you put in some work tonight. You showed the skill, the will. He just wouldn't go down. But how do you grade your performance, which wasn't even supposed to happen if not for the cancellation of uh, Burchell Valdez? I mean, uh, before I start, I want to say um, a happy birthday to my little brother Isaiah. Uh, today is birthday. Happy birthday, Isaiah. I want to give him a birthday present, so that was my birthday present. But um, you got an experienced fighter who know how to survive. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, his fighters who know how to survive, and his experienced fighters who know how to survive. He, he got a lot of experience. He's been around for a long time. I know him back, since back in the amateurs. Um, he knew how to survive. Like, he came in there to survive, and that's what he did. You got some quality rounds. You started boxing back here in the bubble in June, and you close out 2020. You're still young enough to believe in Santa. So, 2021, what fights are you asking Santa for? I mean, I want the, uh, I want the WBO belt first. So, uh, the winner out of front thing. And uh, Jamel had to come see me, and after that, uh, we're going to go straight to Burchell. So, big, okay. ambitious year for Shakur Stevenson, yeah, and thank you once Burchell. again for the great performance here inside the bubble. Joe, guys, we send it back to you. It was a great performance. I guess he thinks Burchell is going to defeat um, Oscar Valdez. Well, I'm out of here. I'm going to bed. Fuck that shit. I can't do it. I can't do it. I got to lay down. I got to get away from this desk. On T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.